Flin Flon. Flin Flon? How did a town in northern Manitoba get such a strange sounding name? Well, it's quite a story. It's named for Flintabetty Flonitin. Flin Flon for short, the hero of a dime store novel. Some 65 years ago, Tom Creighton, a Manitoba prospector, found and read The Sunless City during his wanderings. The story told of a Mr. Flinflon who built himself a submarine to explore a lake that had no bottom. But it wasn't bottomless at all. Flinflon came upon a glittering land built of gold and silver. He had many adventures in this strange place before escaping back to the Earth's surface, leaving the gold behind. Gold! Tom Creighton, the scholarly prospector, struck gold in 1915 and named the spot for Flynn Flon's lost treasure. Gold? Well, there wasn't much of that, but there were other metals. Copper, zinc, silver, and cadmium. Enough to start a mine. Enough to start a town. And in this wilderness of rock and muskeg, the strange name stuck. The first to come were adventurers and pioneers, just like Flindabetty Flonaton. With the train came new townspeople, business, supplies, and civilization. And up on the hill, the statue of Flinflon stands guard, overlooking this town of 10,000 people that grew up around the mine shaft, here in the only place in Canada named after a science fiction hero.